Hey guys, it's Roger and Sam here from Anglers. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick video and show you how to tie up a leader for trolling spoons for mackerel. So, mm -hmm. Sammy, what do we got? So, over here, I have a spool of 50 pound mono, and then I have a spool of 40 pound fluoro here. And we're gonna tie a really simple rig. Now this is gonna be used on your size, on um, your ones and two size planers here, trolling for mackerel, bluefish, things like that here yep. in the bay. Um, pretty simple. If I have one important thing, it's you need a ball bearing swivel yes. in the middle. Um, these spoons are not like Tony Aceta spoons where they cup and, and kind of flutter. Right. These They're are more. meant to spin. Yeah. These are going to spin. And if you don't have a quality, quality swivel on there, you're just going to tear everything up and tangle everywhere. Yeah. Um, so let's get started here. Here I have a pre cut, one arm's length shot of mana. I'm going to grab a simple snap swivel. Put that on there. So this is going to be connected to the planer. Correct. So he's doing like six feet of mono mm -hmm. to that. Now we're going to tie in the middle of this rig our ball bearing swivel. Now, ball bearing swivels do have two two sides. This is the side that has the nose pointing down. That's what you want pointing towards your spoon. Yep. That's the direction the ball bearing is going to want to spin. So we're going to tie right here for the mono part. That is important as well. Absolutely. You want that facing the right way. Otherwise, you're going to get lots of line twists. Lots of twists. You yeah. never thought you could twist lines so much. Yes. <laughs> And then just while he's doing this, these can be used um, also trolling uh, hoses, bigger spoons for cobio, redfish, um, bluefish. If you do that, um, we're using kind of small swivels here. You just might want to upsize terminal tackle. And then for like cobia, redfish, um, I'd probably upsize to like a 60 pound, um, 60 pound mono and then mm -hmm. probably still like 50 or 60 pound fluoro as well. Yeah, and, and the reason we're adding such a heavy line you know 50 pound these fish are only one pound two three pounds is their teeth and especially yes. when they come up and hit it like a missile they can bite through just about anything, anything yeah. so stepping up to at least 50 pound on mono and then on your main leader line i like to use 40 just because it's a little bit clearer um so we're moving to that now i have two arm length sections of fluorocarbon which i will now attach to this part of the ball bearing which is going to face towards my lure now, I also heard of some people this weekend who used four-inch diesel minnows behind them and were catching flounder doing it, which is pretty interesting. Flounder? Not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> Spanish mackerel. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long morning. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm doing. There we go. And then this last yeah. part is optional. You don't have to use a swivel here, um, but we generally do just because it's easier to swap on and off. It's easier to do, and I change colors a lot, especially sizes too. Yeah. I don't mess around with the bigger sizes if they're not working too too well. And then the other thing, trolling these mackerel, you want to be going like seven, nine knots, so pretty quick. Um, bluefish, rockfish, you just want to slow it down a bit. Um, you know, one and a half to three knots should get it done. Same for cobia and reds too. I usually go one and a half to three, just like I'm doing for rockfish. Yeah. So, so. Do it. Why don't we throw this on a rod here? Yep. We have our Andy stand up rods with a 15 SLX. Yep. Level line. Mm hmm. All right. Cleaner coming down. I have a oversized snap swivel. So, snap swivel goes on the ring on the planer. Mm -hmm. And then other snap swivel on the back side of it. And basically the way this is going to work, you're going to put it in the water. That's going to slide up and that's just going to dig into the water the whole time. Um, the spoon is just kind of going to spin behind it. As soon as a fish hits it, it's going to straighten out like that. So really when you're, when you're trolling, you'll have like a steady bend in your rod. Um, and then you'll know you catch a fish when that bend basically goes away, which is kind of opposite from yeah. what you're used to. Usually wait to see a big bend and then, um, mm -hmm. and then pick it up here. It's almost the opposite. Yeah. And that's, and that's one of the reasons some of the combos that we make for Spanish are going to be a little stouter than others okay. because you really put a lot of torque on that. Yeah. Even though these fish are only two, three pounds and your lures are maybe two ounces, 
you really want that stout want something heavy. If yeah. not, you're just not gonna. Yeah, those planers push a lot, push a lot, of water. especially the twos. Yeah. yeah. So, I think that's, that's all we got for y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one, guys.